using your cell phone as a webcam, free overlays, ditching capture cards, all these free streaming resources and more in this one video. Let's jump into the studio. So we all know streaming is a pretty expensive hobby, but it doesn't have to be. So probably one of the first things you're thinking about purchasing is a face cam, like buying a webcam. But you don't have to. Actually, one of the best cameras you'll ever have, your cell phone, can actually be used as a webcam. All you need to do is download XSplit VCam on your computer and then download the XSplit Connect app on your phone. But as long as your phone and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network or even connected via USB, you'll be able to use your phone as a webcam within the XSplit VCam app and you can remove the background, you can replace the background and blur the replacement background. And then you can just add it to Xbox Broadcaster, which you can also use for free. And there you go, you have a face cam. And then in the Xbox Connect app, you can actually change the bit rate to increase the video quality. And then in Vcam, when you do buy a different camera, you can actually use like the background blur or other stuff with it. So unfortunately, the streaming community has been hit by the one-two combo of the RIAA and the DMCA. If you don't know who those are, you can actually take a look at this deep dive we've done on both of them and using music for your streams. There's a link above. But basically, you can't just use any music in your streams because it might get a copyright strike and the channel might get taken down. However, there's plenty of free resources for music for your live streams. So one is Stream Beats, which is actually provided by Harris Heller, and it's on YouTube, Spotify, it's on all the platforms. Just play that music and you're good to go. Also, the platforms themselves offer a lot of free music. So YouTube, Facebook, even Twitch, they all have these free audio libraries of music that you can use as background audio for your streams. So just look around a bit and you can get some cool music. So if you're looking into building a two PC streaming setup, which a lot of people do because it takes a lot of load off the one PC that streaming encoding takes, I think one of the big expenses is getting a capture card and routing all that but you can actually simplify this with a free and easy way. So as long as the two computers are on the same network router, so make sure they're connected via wired cables, this doesn't work too well for Wi-Fi, you can actually use a protocol known as NDI to basically send almost lagless video and audio from your gaming PC to the streaming PC. So basically just install XSplit Broadcaster on both PCs, and then on the gaming PC, just send out an NDI output on the streaming PC, take on the NDI input, and there you go, you basically got a capture card running over your network. Now this does take a lot of bandwidth on the router, so make sure you don't have too many things going on on your network, and you should have a pretty lag-free, stutter-free experience. Now I think another thing that's maybe an obstacle for people is getting a stream set up and running, especially if they're not too technical, and then also getting overlays and alerts, all that running, it can be kind of overwhelming if you use just kind of like standard streaming software and you got to get web sources and camera sources and learn bitrate, learn all this stuff. But there's a really good resource out there, which is Gamecaster. So Gamecaster, you can download it, you can set it up in a few clicks, and it comes with a bunch of free live stream overlays. Make sure to check them out. There's a link in the description. All right, so when you first start streaming, it can be a bit overwhelming with all the different things that you have to do, like social media posts or moderating your chat. So why not simplify this with some automation? So for example, on your social media posts, instead of just you know sending them out whenever you can, find a chunk of time and actually use the tools built into the social media platforms to schedule your tweets or your Facebook posts or your Instagram posts. If you use the Facebook Creator Studio, you can actually schedule Instagram posts as well. And just you know schedule out a bunch of stuff, but also make sure you're going live at that time too and following it. And it'll really streamline your whole content creation marketing process. Now on the stream side, when you start getting some chatters and some viewers, it can be a bit overwhelming to moderate and you won't know who to trust to moderate your chat or if you don't know anyone who can moderate, you're gonna wanna get a chat bot. So there's chat bots like Moobot and Nightbot. I'm kind of partial to Nightbot. And you can use these to do things like post links and messages, do giveaways, and really useful is create a list of banned or blocked words. So that way if someone posts this, they'll automatically get a warning or get kicked. And it can make things a lot more stress-free knowing that there's kind of someone looking out for you and making sure that you're not getting you know, harassed while you're streaming. So when you're a beginning streamer, probably the hardest part of the whole beginning process is finding your voice, finding your niche in streaming, and then also building an audience. And probably the best way that's been discussed all over this platform on building an audience is you know, posting your content in as many places as possible and 
trying to find someone, find it on Reddit, find it on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. But you're gonna need a method to cut those files and edit stuff and maybe you can't afford editing software. So what you wanna do is, especially if you're streaming to Twitch, is Twitch actually has a built-in video editor, which is the highlight tool. And you can just do simple cuts and just make clips or make longer videos or segments from your stream. But create as many of these as possible. I mean, you can actually upload them directly to YouTube or you can just download the clips. That way you can post them all over your social media. So make sure you make those clips, get the content out there, get the small bite-sized stuff, the highlights that people you know, would really want to see and really best showcases what kind of content you're creating and put them out there on as many places as possible. But last but not least, don't forget about the best free resource you have, which is you, your creative output, your creative mind. It's really gonna be up to you to find your own niche in the streaming world. There's so many genres covered, so you really need to find what makes you unique and what's gonna bring you an audience. That's what you're gonna put most of your energy into to be successful in this. But I wanna know from you, do you have any free resources or streaming hacks that you might've used in the past? How much have you spent to get into streaming and what do you find is the most expensive part of streaming? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this video was helpful and share it and subscribe as well. Thanks again and see you next time in the studio.